Are you gonna start working today? Yes, yes, I'm still waiting. For the inspiration? Yeah, <laughs> for the delivery. It turned out that uh, sending the windows takes a uh, huge amount of time and I managed to do only one and not completed it. So we decided to optimize the process and got a sand blasting machine. It's not a soda blasting machine. Yeah, soda blasting machine. Soda blast. Okay. Quite heavy. Yeah, we need to assemble it and try it, but realize that it requires like 350 700 liter per minute and we got compressor which is 250 liter per minute uh, let's try Yeah, let's just test it. Mm. A silent compressor. Let's do the rest and start. Yeah. And the soda blaster. Should I help you? Uh, I don't know. It looks quite strange. No, I think I'm wrong. Instructions, instructions. Yeah, you need to read it. Yeah, okay, so let's wait. Mm. 
solar from there. Yeah. So we have to put solar in. Yeah. And this is for the compressed air. Yeah. Super heavy. <laughs> How to put it inside? The first try. Yeah, I have no idea how it should work. Just take some. solar because it's more gentle and even used on glass to clean from graffiti and etc but still uh, we need to protect the glass It looks like it's better to use uh, regular sanding paper here uh, for flat areas because it's also take soft part and it's yeah it's not smooth anymore yeah it's not smooth anymore so I think it's better to use sandpaper for the flat areas and it's very hard to sand yeah it's better to use this one because it's my cheeser like these areas probably
I forget my tool with jungle one. I want to try with knives to remove paint from the wood.
I want to show you difference between sunblasting soda blasting I use it here so and it's remove soft part of the wood so when I move the blade is stuck in these holes also here it's and here I use blade to yeah to remove all wax and uh, wood and it's really smooth so nice and here I use polish machine it's also quite smooth yeah quality here and here much better than with uh, soda blasting Yeah, this tool is, I like it, just razor from the knife, but the problem of uh, tools like that, because it follows the wood structure, and here is quite wavy, yeah, in that case it's better to use just polish machine. Yeah, here is really like waves I would like to share result of uh, our window uh, restoration, but yeah, and to what we use, but beer break is the first <laughs> <laughs> to make my talk more smooth. <laughs> uh, today we are trying the beer from uh, Brussels Beer Project. It's quite interesting concept. A new breeze. Their motto, logo, I don't know how to call it, it's on their website. Uh, leave the abbey, enter the playground. So, uh, yeah, in Belgium, always beer breweries is mostly, yeah, they brew it in traditional way. And this guy want to bring, yeah, new breeze, try to experiment and make a new tastes. New and, tastes, yeah. And, uh, try different technology to continue this brewing tradition but in a new and yeah more modernized way i really like their concept they also call themselves not a company or a rigid structure but a project that is crowd found founded by people just common residents of brussels they started in 2013 and their first beer was uh, delta ipa they brewed four sorts of beers, prototypes, and they asked 850 residents to try and to vote for the best one. Uh, there were Alpha, Beta, Gamma and Delta. <laughs> so Delta is the first uh, sort that they actually brewed and that was chosen by those people. 
like uh, and still it uh, it's a star of their of their variety <laughs> that they offer so let's try, uh, yeah, let's try. Mm. I like IPA beers and it's a good one. I mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's bitter. Yeah. A nice yeah. balance between bitterness, I don't know, and like fruit. I want yeah, I want to try with small because it's they have interest yeah, they try different concept and for this one they use uh, they reuse bread which was not sold yeah unsold fresh bread yeah. unsold fresh bread they uh, replace they replace 20 percent of melt by this uh, bread and this like innovative idea of recycling uh, the product started five years ago they were also one of the first who tried this I wonder how it's also IPA. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder how it will taste. I'll try from the bottle. Mm. It's less bitter and uh, more. Some sweet, uh, sweet undertaste, mm. but yeah. I, I wouldn't guess that they added uh, like 20% uh, of bread in it. No. I wouldn't guess it. If I would know, wouldn't know that, I wouldn't guess it. They say if you drink a glass, a, a bottle of beer, you it's equal to eating two slices of bread. In this case, it's <laughs> even more true. <laughs> they have also a pub in Brussels and um, I read the reviews. I have never been there, but I read the reviews and it's uh, really worth visiting, so maybe... Uh, yeah, and also they have a big variety of beers, it's like... They brew uh, some of them in collaboration with uh, other people and they try new experimenting, so it's actually... Yeah, it's a cool thing if you yeah. are not afraid... <laughs> yeah, and for me it's... Of new tastes. For me it's also for the first time I... Uh, yeah, I saw it in many shops many, many times, but I never tried. I don't know why. I like the concept. I, I love old beers with, uh, that are brewed in the Abbey. They, they follow old techniques, old recipes. Um, they stick to what was good for yeah, hundreds of years. But I also love the refreshing pre's of new I don't know, it also tastes very nice and it's a cool project. Yeah. I like this maybe more than this. Yeah, I like the Delta more. Yeah, because it's like, it's really IPA, IPA? IPA bitter taste and it's like, it's not like regular, but yeah, it's like IPA, but this one is more, less bitter, but it's quite interesting aftertaste. Okay, let's let's uh, talk about our results and tools. So before we use uh, sending machines, mainly we use this two. We don't use this one because it's too powerful and you can easily like jump out from the wood or make some scratches. So less powerful is better. Yeah, less powerful. I is found better. this one. Good one. A good one, yes, easy to yeah, use. And this use. one. This one is heavier. For me, it was di more difficult to use. Okay. We use uh, mainly these two machines, but it's really long, patient work you need to... It took a lot of time and I thought, okay, let's try to optimize and look for something... Better, faster, faster. faster. Also, the problem was when you have a lot of... Uh, hole, not hole, grooves, grooves hollows. Holes, yeah, small details. Small details, it's yeah, quite quite hard to send it. So and it was advised to try soda blasting machine. So we bought this kettle. Kettle it's in Dutch. Ke yeah, kettle it's in Dutch. I don't know. Whatever, this soda blasting machine. Can I press? <laughs> Just try. Yeah. 
Yes, so it's soda with air is coming out of this thing. So the benefits of uh, soda blasting machine really fast, very easy to use it for uneven surfaces, for grooves, for small hollows. It's all, all small details. All really. small details, it works perfect. There are also a lot of small minuses. It's noisy and really dusty. Another minus, it removes a lot of uh, yeah, soft particles of the wood and the structure is not smooth. For some projects, uh, this removing the soft uh, particles is okay, but in our case, it was not desirable at all. So. Yeah. Also, if we're talking about price of working with, it's uh, itself the machine is not really expensive. We uh, we bought <laughs> cheapest one, a matter kit. So just just to try it. So the itself is quite expensive. It's uh, yeah, what we found it's more than 20 euros, almost 30 euros per 25 kilos and you cannot reuse it. Yeah, and it was also my mistake, you need really big air comp uh, compressor. I bought big enough, but not very big to make it movable, to reuse in other projects. Lo low noise. Silent. Si it's si called silent air it compressor. Calls silent compressor. They are really expensive we were talking about big ones so I did compromise and I bought middle one but it it was not enough for the soda blasting so you can work for one two minutes and after that you need to take a break and wait for another few minutes. So it was to buy and try soda blasting machine if you have really big compressor. The best choice with 300 liters per minute. I still have mixed feeling <laughs> with soda blasting machine, but yeah, definitely I will use it for some small project where I need to clean up all these grooves. So, for example, uh, furniture renovation where you have all these car rings and so on. So, yeah, I think it will work perfectly. Also, we use all this variety of scrapers. Uh, they work perfectly, but not really long time because they become uh, dull. Yeah, they because become dull very quickly. And yeah, you need to sharpen very often. And because it's really thick iron, it's really hard. Yeah, it's you can do if you have some uh, automatic sharper, but I do manually, and it took a lot of time. To make it sharp again and to be honest i took it home to make it sharp and i forgot it and but i need to work and i start oh what i can do and i decided so Ilya again was experimenting, experimenting and looking for alternative <laughs> yeah and i try with uh, knives blade it's like it's quite sharp and uh, i saw that it will be like just after a few moves it it, it become it dark dull but it works perfectly i did most of the job using this knife and i like it and it's really cheap so it's like few cents per knife you know less than 50 cents per knife and it's enough to have one or two blades for one window and it's it's really awesome too <laughs> it works to try if you wonder where anike is and who is Screaming. <laughs> She's also listening. So Ilya, what is the conclusion? I think the best way is to combine all tools. Uh, mainly I use with blades to clean up surfaces and yeah, big surfaces. Also I use a soda blasting machine to clean up uh, grooves and yeah, there are a lot of small details with you. Yeah, it's hard to do that using any tool because it's really small and I, I have no idea how you can go into with grooves. I love, I love working with sanding machine. I use it just to polish. So, this is the tools uh, that were used in our work, in our experiment. And yeah, at the end we decided just to paint our windows. <laughs> Let me tell the story about that.
the initial plan was to uh, take out all the windows to uh, remove all the paint from the windows and to uh, yeah Ilya's idea was to restore yeah nat natural look because wood uh, wood looks really nice uh, the windows are from 80s we guess from 80s and it's Miranti wood uh, really nice wood a uh, nice grain nice color but uh, after working on uh, the two windows <laughs> this is yeah. one of them we understood that it's just yeah it's impossible yeah it's possible but it will take a lot of time and uh, to clean really clean perfectly this part was exposed to the sun i don't know how how much of the wood i need to remove to make it uh, the same color so it's really a lot of work and also while taking out uh, we damaged a bit the wood yeah it was damaged and this probably from the sanding machine you see i don't know the damage. Yeah, we don't know Maybe i don't not. remember so but yeah uh, uh, this part it can be hidden in the uh, yeah when you mount the windows but this part not and for this part yeah i need to use some wood filler and to make it smooth again and hide it I uh, hear also you see uh, yeah, some that we holes. need to repair. So and yeah, unfortunately, all these small repairs will take a lot of time. Uh, and we have it's middle sized windows, we have much bigger windows. So, our initial plan changed, adapted to the new realities, and we want to paint. Uh, we were choosing between two colors brown as it's the original color of these windows and also the white one uh, because the white is the original to the house in the beginning of the century they uh, had white windows uh, i already asked your opinion a few many videos back i showed you the old windows and asked your opinion and many of you voted for the white we decided brown would be easier option because they're all brown we just like paint on top but we decided to paint them white yeah. I, I i really want to restore the initial look original look of the house um yeah do you want to remove uh, the first floor <laughs> like it was original in the beginning of the century <laughs> that's one step too far <laughs> so, so yeah the white will cover all the imperfections and it will look beautiful it will be a really nice combined with our lime mortar the joints yeah, yeah. i think it will look very nice we hope and also hope. we 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 decided don't take whole windows out just to uh, paint it on, on place send them on spot where they are without removing yeah and in that case also some blasting machine will help us to work on <laughs> ah yes true yeah. and afterwards afterwards we will paint uh we will paint these two windows probably in the next video if we buy and get all the materials that we need so stay tuned <laughs> but the or, rest... not. <laughs> <laughs> or not i hope that uh, we will mention yeah. so think fingers crossed because winter is coming i think we need to return back all oh yeah with two windows so we so. are a bit in a hurry with these windows to uh, put them back but uh, the other windows we will paint in the spring because the temperature right now is already not uh, warm yeah. enough to work warm. outside so we were advised to wait till spring comes so, yeah. yeah that's it that's it Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>